Hi, Brian Stucker here again, certified trainer and baby boomer fitness expert. Today, I wanna teach you what you need to know about nutrition for women for the age of 50. Over the last 13 years of training, I've run into the same problem. Women between the ages of 45 and 55 are flourishing into my office. They're saying, Brian, I'm eating the same stuff. I'm doing the same cardio. I'm doing the same weight training routine, but my jeans don't fit. Um, I'm not fitting into my clothes. My arms are starting to, to sag. My butt is starting to go places I don't want it to go. So I want to give you the specific nutritional strategies for women over 50. And the biggest challenges that women have at that age is menopause. And the challenge with menopause is basically this. Metabolism starts to, because you're not having that monthly, monthly cycle anymore, your body and the hormone changes, your body is burning less calories per day, upwards of 300 to 500 calories less per day. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to address diet more than anything. And when I mean diet, I don't mean like going on some kind of crash diet or radical diet. I mean making some small adjustments to your nutrition plan and getting a certain mindset around it so that way you can get those trouble areas really toned back up, things moving up in the right direction, and get rid of those, those grandma arms. And we don't want to offend any grandmas out there because we do have some grandmas in here that have great arms. So anyway, first thing, we know diet is the answer. And the first thing we want to take a look at is you've been training for a long time now, or maybe you just started training, maybe you're following a meal plan. You're keeping a food log you need to be even more diligent at staying in those calorie targets. Making sure that you're keeping your calories 500 calories below your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, and you're consistently giving yourself um, more protein to give yourself the amino acids uh, necessary to facilitate with recovery and maintaining lean body mass. You can do that with animal sources, you can do it with plant sources. It's totally up to you. You find the preference that works best for you. The second thing you need to start looking at is then your carbohydrates. You need to be honest with yourself and what I see is there's a little too much wine in there so you don't want to be drinking your calories because those drinking your calories is not very nu nutrient dense, it doesn't fill you up and, it, and those calories just get stored as fat. As simple as that. So let's start cutting out you know our liquid calories and if you're going to have you know things like wine try to focus on the portion size and limit to maybe once or twice per week. Uh, the other thing um, is look at your fats make sure you're getting more of those healthy fats make so again make sure that calorie deficit there make sure you're cutting out those free foods make sure you're addressing the the uh, nutrient dense foods and make sure you're getting more of those uh, carbohydrates cutting those simple sugars out because it's eat right now diet is even more important than anything else if I could tell you one thing that's the biggest challenge that my female clients have when they get over the age of 50 when it comes to nutrition so first and foremost you have gotta take care of that the other thing is eating out. The kids are gone now, you're meeting up with friends, you got some more time, you're going out with the husband, you're having some nice dinners. Here's the challenge with that. The average uh, uh, female American over the age of 50 eats out five to eight times per week. Now the challenge with eating out five to eight times per week is that when you're eating out, the average American is getting an extra three to 800 calories more by eating out. So if you look at it, you can only exercise so much. So if you're going to eat out and you're going and you know you're going to splurge, pick, like I say, pick your poison. Meaning pick that day where you're going to eat out, you're going to be mindful of it, you're going to enjoy that meal, you're going to take it in, you're going to uh, savor it because we know that we can't make up all those calories with exercise because you're going to get burned out, you're going to be tired, you're going to be fatigued, and you're just not downright owning life anymore. It's about having that effective strategy around nutrition. So master, own, dominate that seven day period and then, or 14 day period for a lot of my female clients and then just go and enjoy a good glass of red wine, go enjoy your meal and go there. The other thing is when you're going through menopause, the biggest challenge is those emotional triggers and the 
you, so you've got to start looking at that emotional eating. And I know there's a lot of things that, that happen. The kids are out of the house, you're stressed, they're off to college, you, you don't know how to deal with that. Your husband just retired from the job, so you're looking at what's going on there. You're taking care of your mom and dad. So you've got outside stre stresses. So one of the simple strategies that I've learned from one of my coaches that I've applied with all my coaching clients is a simple system. It's called HALTS. So if you're noticing your food journal and you're noticing like I'm eating certain foods certain times of the day because you're feeling a certain way, start noticing those emotional triggers. There's a, it's a strategy called HALT. It's called hunger, hungry, um, angry, hungry, angry, HALT, H-A-L, lonely, tired, or stressed. So anytime you're feeling hungry, angry, uh, lonely, tired, or stressed, that could be a, a trigger. So if you're hungry, eat. If you're uh, angry, de-stress. Ask yourself some better quality questions. What's great about this? What's a strategy I can do to deal with this? If you're lonely, call a friend. If you're tired, take a nap. If you're stressed, do some stress relieving techniques. The fourth thing, most important thing that you got to do is you got to find yourself support because if you have those friends out there, and we all have them, that's like, hey, come on out. We got to meet up and we got to talk about the latest whatever, whatever's going on in the community, whatever the new handbag is, whatever it is. We got to, you got to make sure you have support. And what's great about, and I'm not trying to get you in a boot camp here, with our boot camps and our small group training is that our ladies, what they end up finding is when they have a support group like that, each other, they're holding each other accountable. And the other thing is a trainer. Get yourself with a trainer. They're able to measure your goals, hold you accountable to that food journal, help you identify those emotional triggers so that way that you can get those body parts lifted back up, get that arm toned up, and get back to fitting into those skinny jeans again, enjoying that quality life. I hope you enjoyed this great nutrition information. I want to get you a free nutrition plan of your first week, a shopping guide and recipe guide. In order to get that, you're just going to scroll down below here and you're going to see a link. And that link is going to take you to the next page where you're going to enter your email address. Once you enter your email address, you're going to be shot over the nutrition guide, the meal plan, and the recipe guide. And then that's going to help you get on a fast track to your results. Also below here, you're going to see in the description section, you'll have comments, questions, and feedback. Tell me what you want to hear as I'll keep making great content for you. Also, if you, you also look up here, there's a subscribe button. Just subscribe to the channel where we'll keep you updated, all the great information that's coming out for you on a daily basis. You guys make it a great day.